Hey guys, Leno here from playtoearn.net. Welcome back to our weekly blockchain gaming news series. Every week we bring you the latest updates from the exciting world of blockchain gaming. Whether it's game releases, teasers, or industry news, we've got you covered. In today's episode, we're diving into the game updates of the week. From new features to bug fixes, you won't want to miss what's been going on in the blockchain gaming scene. So grab a snack, sit back, and get ready to be updated on the latest in blockchain gaming. To start off our list, Play Shrapnel launches a multiplayer experiment. AAA blockchain first-person shooter game Play Shrapnel has launched its first playable prototype titled Multiplayer Experiment. The early stage of the game will allow 8 players to compete in Stigma. Their primary obligation is to extract the Sigma or die while trying to. MPX1 will help the team test the performance and prepare for the game's build for Play Shrapnel's future. Play Shrapnel plans to give players a taste of the full game through MPX1. However, the MPX1 does not represent the full experience embedded in the full game version. The major difference between the MPX1 and the real game version includes the following. The lack of blockchain and NFTs, persistent inventory, playstyles, and loadouts. Others include character customization, holo risk devices, zone entry ceremonies, sigma abilities, and team play among many others. Despite that, players can enjoy a wide range of movement during MPX1, which include walking, sprinting, crouching, prone position, crawling, jumping, mantling, vaulting, sliding, leaning, ladder climbing, and shoulder door bashing. They can also scavenge for ammo, sigma, and health packs to better their chances of survival. There is a model health mechanic which helps players to locate damages in the body and apply soothing treatments to such areas. The MPX-1 features an assault rifle as a primary weapon and a pistol as a secondary weapon. The MPX-1 gaming arena has a size of 370 meters by 470 meters, 5 hero buildings, and other spectacular landmarks. Players can tweak the setting in-game, thereby creating different levels of lethality. During the recent testing, Play Shrapnel found that players with the pistol proved to be more deadly in combat. The developing team plans to craft and introduce more weapons into gameplay in the future. Up um, next, Metalcore releases Open World Alpha 2 patch. Following the announcement that the early access version of Metalcore is coming to the Epic Game Store, Studio 369 has officially started the Open World Alpha 2 playtest, releasing patch notes to give players an idea of what new goodies they can expect to experience throughout this testing period. In comparison to the latest alpha playtest, this new one, which is playable through the Epic Game Store, brings in UI changes, new locations to explore, new gameplay content to enjoy in the form of missions, and more. The user interface has been completely overhauled, with updates to the map and icons, as well as adjustments to the HUD made in an effort to provide further visual clarity, while fixing some functionality issues with the settings menu. The first time user experience has been updated, so if this is your first time playing, you'll have a better introduction to the game than previous testers. Faction bases now include new missions to complete, and as a result, there are a couple of new mission zones that have been included throughout various locations, while new areas have also been added, giving previous players and newcomers more beautiful environments to explore and fight in. A new AI feature has been added that gives them patrol routes, while mission zones now include more AI engagements. Full details on other improvements included can be found in the official patch notes linked in the tweet down below. If you're liking this news list so far, remember to check out our website and news section to be updated on everything about blockchain gaming. You can also subscribe to our channel to make sure you stay updated on all our videos. Now let's get back to the list. Up next, blockchain-based 2D platformer Across Lunasia launches free public demo. Across Lunasia, a roguelike platformer action game, has released a free public demo with an updated art style and gameplay features. The 2D pixel title, inspired by Axie Infinity, is one of the games supported by the Axie Builders Initiative. Players will be able to travel through the Lunasia forest with their axes while avoiding obstacles and defeating Chimera enemies. The full version of the game will require players to own an Axie NFT. However, the demo itself is accessible to everyone. In this build, gamers will play as Fluffles, a mystic Axie with 4 abilities. Personal Axies will be playable in the future with a unique moveset based on their genetics. With nostalgic gameplay and ambiance, Across Lunasia's latest build has certainly won the hearts of many blockchain gaming enthusiasts. On the first day of release, fans and gamers were seen jumping and strolling around the map while traversing the forest of Lunasia as Fluffles. The game's controls are also significantly smoother, allowing for a more engaging player experience. According to the devs, the purpose of this demo is to gather feedback that will influence the game's future development. To collect a wide range of feedback, the demo is now available to everyone in its official website. Interested gamers can also leave their comments on the Across Lunasia Discord server. Since April 2022, Axie Infinity developer Sky Mavis has been looking to create an infinite realm of experiences for gamers via the Axie Builders campaign. Mech Infinity, Axie Doll, and Across Lunasia were among the first projects accepted into the program. Um, next, Champions Ascension launches Free For All Vault of Carnage mode. The Champions Ascension team has officially updated their pre-alpha version with a new Free For All mode called Vault of Carnage. In this new game mode, 15 players get to battle it out to get as many tickets as they can. These tickets, alongside special power-ups, can be found scattered throughout the map. 
If someone gets to a ticket before you, you can kill them and not only get the tickets they have, but 5 extra tickets too. These tickets can be redeemed at the ticket vault found in the middle of the map. The more tickets you hold, however, the slower you move. So good luck making it to the ticket vault in one piece. If you die, you turn into a ghost, who is not just merely a spectator, but still an active player, that can instead of directly attacking others, place traps throughout the map that will stun prey for a few seconds, as well as deal a bit of damage. This is certainly a great way to annoy whoever last murdered you, but do keep in mind that ghosts can only place one trap at a time, so if you decide to place a new one somewhere else, the last one you place gets removed. There are a couple of different power-ups included, such as one that increases your ticket pickup range, as well as one that adds a knockdown effect to each one of your attacks, among many others. You can only have one power-up at the same time, so the one you pick up during a match stays with you until you grab another one. An hour-long playtest in partnership with Fractal was recently held for this new game mode. Don't worry though, as there's likely to be more playtests coming up featuring this new game mode that you'll be able to play for free without needing a crypto wallet. In the meantime, you can see a bit of gameplay in the video embedded in the Twitter thread down below, with the thread also containing a link to download the game. Home next, Cards of Eternity is now live on the Epic Game Store. The blockchain-based collectible card game allows players to buy, sell, and trade cards on the Ethereum blockchain. Lunar Station, a team of experienced game developers with experience in the traditional gaming industry, developed the game. The team wanted to create a game that combines the fun of traditional collectible card games with the transparency and security of blockchain technology. The game features unique artwork and gameplay mechanics, and players can build their decks by purchasing card packs or individual cards on the game's marketplace. The game uses Ethereum-based smart contracts to ensure that all cards are unique, verifiable, and scarce. This means players can own their cards and sell them to other players for real money. Additionally, the game's marketplace is decentralized, meaning players can trade cards without a centralized authority. Cards of Eternity is an important step forward for the adoption of blockchain technology in the gaming industry. The game showcases the potential of blockchain technology to create new and innovative gameplay mechanics and provide players with a new level of ownership and control over their in-game assets. The game also highlights the potential of blockchain technology to create a more fair and transparent gaming industry. With blockchain-based games, players can be sure that the game's rules and mechanics are transparent and cannot be manipulated by game developers or other third parties. And lastly, Honeyland enters open beta, combines GameFi and Web2 experiences for players. Honeyland, a game initially based on NFTs with a focus on uniquely animated bee characters, has entered its open beta stage. The resource gathering game revolves around the stats of bee characters, which are crucial to the game's economy. With the open beta, Honeyland has reset players from the alpha stage, offering a fair opportunity for players to work on the map, gather resources, and earn HXD tokens. According to Honeyland's roadmap, the full release in the coming months will feature both Web3 and Web2 versions. This approach aims to appeal to Game5 fans and mainstream users alike. Currently, the HXD token is exclusively available within the game, with an IDO sale and exchange listings planned for the future. Honeyland will continue evolving, with NFT staking and the development of a native marketplace included in the game's growth plans. Honeyland provides a variety of NFT content, such as bees, development NFT, cosmetic items, hive items, and land. The game necessitates NFT transactions for certain items and permits NFT staking for passive income generation. Honeyland's economy emphasizes balancing honey production, the game's main objective, with simulated mining to avoid asset overproduction. In a distinctive move, Honeyland will transition to Web 2 after initially launching with an NFT collection and Web 3 Game 5 features. The goal is to create an enjoyable product that can be played as a traditional game, separate from the game's Web 3 economy and tokens. By offering both Web 3 and Web 2 experiences, Honeyland aims to attract a broader audience and provide a fun gaming experience for all players. And that's a wrap for today's news video. Join me again tomorrow for more exciting developments and news in the world of blockchain gaming, where we'll be diving into the latest sneak peeks, teasers, and announcements. And for more info on everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video.